Imagine you playing a game you love for thousands of hours and logging in one day to find yourself banned. This is Foglight's story of getting permanently banned and how War Thunder changed forever because of it. Well, I found out that I was banned during the grind of the FJ4B. I was grinding out the modification of that vehicle after I acquired it. And then I was instantly kicked out of the server with a message saying, uh, you were banned, you're permanently banned for unsportsmanlike behavior. I felt very disappointed, uh, surprised. I didn't know what that meant at the time because I thought that maybe I've insulted somebody, which I never had. And so I felt really, really bad. Unknown to Foglight, he'd been maliciously targeted and mass reported by over 50 people. Well, I played War Thunder for about five years now. I started playing in 2015, took a break, and then afterwards came back when the tanks were released. I think that was towards the end of 2016, beginning of 2017. Having invested so much time into his account, he was understandably upset. The game in question was a squadron realistic battle, which is an 8v8 single respawn game mode between squadrons where each victory or defeat affects your positioning on a game-wide leaderboard. We headed out to Frozen Pass and Fog took me through what happened. So I took the right hand sight spawn, came in right here, then this is my position right here to look towards this spot where some enemies might come out from, which is uh, I'm going to mark on the map right here. Uh, during that time, it was, I believe, the top tier was uh, Abrams type 90s and uh, T64Bs. And so uh, there was, I believe, a Leopard 2A4 and a Type 90 uh, coming in right between these two buildings, uh, which I am going to mark right now, right here. So I shot one of them in the engine. Somebody viewed the replays because they got killed across the map from spawn to spawn. Uh, we happened to be playing Elite. The other squadron that was, by the way, during squadron battles, and they reported me. Anyway, the guys and employee reviewed um, the report uh, that he also reviewed it with uh, with uh, high settings. So I was using ULQ because my PC does not support anything better. And even in ULQ, I'd be running the game at 45 to 50 frames per second. So with ULQ, uh, the first layer of snow is not rendered in so you can basically see what others with other graphic settings cannot see so the first layer of snow renders in and like right now i am able to shoot right there but for anybody else uh you cannot and that's how i got banned Gaijin support probably has to deal with thousands of actual cheaters trying to get unbanned every day, so it makes sense that they stonewall anyone trying to do so. But that didn't help Foglight, so he turned to the r slash War Thunder subreddit for help. At start, after submitting tickets to Gaijin support, game moderators, I, the odds of me getting unbanned at first felt like very slim. They did not like the idea that I am um, appeal appealing for getting unbanned and and uh, then afterwards i tried a game moderator and uh, the game moderator basically said that he can do nothing about it it's all in the game so if uh, you got banned there's chances are you're actually hacking well after after several attempts as uh, i've mentioned uh, between guys and support and submitting tickets i uh, started a reddit post and then uh, my fellow squadron uh, members and banner scrubs helped me uh, upvote um, the post to have it trending just to have the attention of Gaijin and we were successful. You don't have to talk to Foglight for long to know he's not the type of person to cheat. Some of the guys in the squadron didn't know how Reddit worked and didn't know that making an account to upvote something was against the rules of Reddit. Their simple positive intention was to help out a squad mate and a friend who really needed it. The War Thunder subreddit was a lot smaller back then and with only a few upvotes the post had made it to hot. From there, with the support of the rest of Reddit, the post had made it to the top of the War Thunder subreddit. From this, the international community manager at Gaijin Entertainment saw the post and decided to look into the matter himself. He found that after 50 reports and two stages of human verification, the account had been banned. Only after a third check as a result of his direct involvement, 
the truth was discovered and he apologized on behalf of everyone at Gaijin. I was messaged by Scarper and uh, we exchanged some messages and DMs in which he uh, apologized for getting me, for Gaijin getting me banned uh, and that I was also innocent. So he uh, offered a premium, a full year of premium as a compensation. A massive check on previous bans was conducted and a rework to the banning procedure was completed. There's no way to know for sure, but it's likely that Easy Antichi was added to the game in November of the following year due to this very situation. I mean, uh, my situation was, uh, you know, was, was really bad because uh, I'll tell you one thing for sure. If I spent that much time and effort trying to get, you know, event vehicles, uh, pay a lot of money into the game, you know, to try and get my tech trees leveled up all the way to top tiers. It would suck for somebody who'd get the same or who'd be in the same situation and get banned, you know. So Easy Anti-Sheet definitely did help prevent Gaijin from making such mistakes in the future. So every time you open the game and you see that loading screen, you can remember Foglight and his experience on Frozen Pass. Not many people can say that they're not hacking and really just are that good at the game. Man, I, I know maps like kind of inch by inch, you know, so <laughs> kind of like the nerd of War Thunder and positioning.